<laughs> hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy is we're going to actually work with some marigolds and some zinnias and some feverfew and some beautiful garden roses. And we're going to work on a couple of little simple, really simple, summer arrangements. So I love marigolds. The reason why I love marigolds, it reminds me of my childhood more than anything else because my grandmother and my mother always grew marigolds out in our gardens. So the marigolds, neither you really love the smell of marigolds or you really don't. You like the smell of marigolds. I like the smell of marigolds. I appreciate the smell of marigolds. Oops. Oh, just but, broke though. But I don't really love the smell of marigolds. But anyway, marigolds don't... They, they're a bird, to, I mean not a bird, but a bug deterrent. So it keeps the worms off the tomatoes is what I was always told. So anyway, so what I thought we'd do today is actually dress up some of these glass vases. And we got this cool moss sheet in. This is pill and stick moss, almost like wallpaper, but it's pill and stick moss. You just peel it off there. And so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put a couple little creases in this one. Oh cuts. goodness! What? What is sticking? Oh yeah, you're gonna be sticky like, all over. It's like bug. I mean, like fly paper. So it's like that. So then let's go back. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you stuck. <laughs> it really works. Oh my gosh! Oh lord! It really works well. I, okay, I went the wrong. See. I went the wrong way. Got to go up, up, not down. So there's that one. I'm going to crisscross that one, and I'm going to go back and crisscross this one. Then I'm going to crisscross this one, and I need just a little piece to go right in there. So anyway, I'm going to cut off this one. So that is going to give us a collar of that moss. Could be a, that could be a bug trap right there. A bug, just, exactly. Just sticky, bugs. A sticky bugs. Oh, goodness. Okay. And, well, I'm not going to worry about cleaning the edge up. I think it looks kind of cool when it's unkept like that. So let me get this out of the way because that is going to be stuck to me and everything else where it's over with. It might be in the arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> Extra texture. It's texture. So let's go back and add a little bit of greenery around the perimeter. I thought we'd do a couple. A big one, a small one, and a medium one today. So what is um what type of greenery is that? Pod a corpus is what I was told. I thought it was something else, but according to Brad in distribution, he called it pod corpus. Okay. Pod a corpus. Yeah, I always thought it was something else. Miss Mary Ann said that she loved the boho from Wedding Wednesday. Oh, so did good. you kinda of wanna talk about that since you did it yesterday? Oh, well, we did it yesterday, not me. We all well, did it. Yeah, well, our whole team went to Conway. Yeah. But you about burned up, and I learned about sugars. So. <laughs> so, so, happy family. Let me give you a quick, a quick synopsis now, now on this. Now, this nicely. Be nice. <laughs> this child didn't know what a chigger was. Okay, I did know what a chigger was, but I'm just Well, you've not act like you've never seen much. a chigger or even heard about a chigger. Okay. Because I was saying Fine. we were out in this field, and we're like, oh, my Lord, we're going to have chiggers, so this is over with. And you're like, well, what? I don't know nothing about no chiggers. Then I just felt like I was itching all over the place, <laughs> and I was like, could not wait to get out of the grass. Well, I was kind of worried about all the ticks and fleas. Uh, the, the ticks. ticks and fleas? Not fleas, but ticks, because, you know, ticks are bad out there, too. So, anyway. But as far as I know, we don't have anything popping up on us. That's so. right. Hopefully not. So where do we get the sticky mossy sheets? From Tipton and Hearst, of course. There we go. <laughs> Which also kind of ties into the next. Someone asked, do we know when the next Comet Sold is? We could maybe do this on the Comet Sold. Yep. Do we have enough of that? Uh, no, we don't, but we can get it in pretty quick, I believe. If it's, okay. in, if it's in the United States. That's the whole thing about the whole world right now. If it's in the United States, we can get it in. If it's having to come across the pond or the uh, ocean that could be a problem <laughs> my mom is right she says they do not have chiggers on golf courses that, mom oh i just almost dropped my phone that is a great excuse Thank oh you. Uh, okay well she you gave me the same excuse last day too pretty much what you just said your home address didn't have them so yes like, that's okay. right <laughs> 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 which i agree but anyway 
I did go to summer camp. That's and stuff, just part but about just, growing up in the country. You just, you've got chiggers, and you have ticks. That's right. But that's okay. Miss Gigi said that she cut the, her um, hydrangeas on Sunday, and they are beautiful. Oh, good. We'll just keep those leaves off of them. That'll that's help right. them keep on keeping on. So, so let's go back and add a few of these glorious. Uh, so what did so for people pretty. just tuning on? What did you put around the vase to kind of dress up the vase? That that is this moss. It's called it's called pill and stick moss. It's sheets of moss that we have. It's called mossy mat. Mossy mat. Mossy mat. And it, and the cool thing about it, it's got these lines. So if you're trying to be real strategically when you cut, which I never am, then you just follow the grid. You can cut it. You don't follow the lines. That you don't never use colored inside the lines either. So anyway, so that makes it easy to do that. But you know, these are great even like you want to like cover a wall, like a mossy wall. Oh, yeah. It'd be so cool. It's like wallpaper. That would be cool, a mossy wall. I hadn't thought about that. So what is this rose that you're putting in now? Free spirit. Isn't it pretty? It's it is. so big and pretty. You know, I was talking to one of our brides today. She's getting married on July twenty fifth. And when she we did her portrait bouquet. She thought that the free spirit was a little too red inside. Yeah. And you know, I was, and then I talked, called Miss Frieda and talked to her about it. And you know, we were saying sometimes they come in red, and then sometimes like this, they don't even have red in it. Barely. Right. It it all depends on the farm. That's and, right. And really, they're they're kind of haphazard on that sometimes too, especially when these roses have a lot of variation of color. They really can't control exactly how they're going to look. You know, a red rose is a red rose, but when you tell get at these garden varieties depend on the altitude that they're grown at as well as um, how quickly they were grown so it can it can vary will you be at atlanta market on friday no i no. will not be you will be though i will so what will you do about the happy i bet is what they're asking oh about. oh oh oh, oh. carpool think... karaoke <laughs> we're gonna make we're gonna do a bow tie and one again no, uh, we're probably actually going to maybe do a little bit earlier because we're trying to get on the road by two so we can get a little bit down the road to get to Atlanta. So you might be on early on Friday. Y'all might be on early Friday. I think Friday. so. Okay. I think so. I still think we should try that. The epic fail we had. But it could be me on the epic fail this time. That's true. Well, we could do it from, I don't know. We can try. We can talk about it. We'll figure out something. Everyone's saying that they love this arrangement, that the purple and orange combo is so beautiful. Isn't it pretty? It just, I do. So, it's just a happy, it just, it's it just really a happy looks box happy of crayon summery. colors. That yeah. is right. Happy box of crayon colors. Jewel colors. Yeah. Jewel so, color crayon box. Exactly. So, let's clean that one up. And now we're going to make a really small one really fast. I do kind of dig that moss around that, I do, though. too. I like that. We've got to order some more of that when we go. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll Comes put that on. From Pete Garcia. That's what I was thinking. Ooh, are you gonna have a field trip? Us? I think a lot of people are wanting the field trip on Friday. Do we think that maybe we should actually just wait and do it on Saturday? Is that gonna throw everybody off? Oh, I don't know. You could do that. We could wait if they wanted to wait. But you and Mr. Howard and Lydia and Leanne could do something too. Carpool karaoke. I'm Carpool sure karaoke. I'm sure Lydia and Leanne are up for that. For I'm sure. sure that they are. <laughs> Mr. Howard, definitely. Exactly. But you could do Saturday from a showroom. We could do mm -hmm. that. Okay, well, just let us know. Okay, mm -hmm. remind us again what the greenery is called. Potocorpius is what is what Brad told me. I thought it had a little bit different name on it. But okay, someone, now that you said that. Someone said, and they spelled it out, po... Podocorpius. Poda. I'm he said po, but I remember. always thought it was something a little different, but I'm definitely not going to do a spell check. Or, P-O da car pus. P da... Po da carpus. Po da po po carpus. See, I butchered it. That's what Miss Sandra said. Well, we're going to go with what Miss Sandra said. So I add just a little bit of this from Whimsy Feverfew. Mr. Mike said this puts some sun on a gloomy day. Well, good. Do lilies last um, long once they are cut? They do. What was that? Sounds like a nail. Sounds like a nail. 
Miss Shannon said that she thought about us when she went to get some panties because she said they did not look like the ones at our store. Oh, really? Quite a few people are saying Saturday's great. Okay. Miss Jacqueline said you could do both. <laughs> <laughs> we could. But definitely, I thought it'd be kind of fun to show Atlanta since we showed you what Dallas looked like. It might be kind of fun to look and see what Atlanta looks like. I think that would be a great idea. Because you'll be in the middle of something anyway at 2.30. Where? On Friday. I thought you had that thing you had to do. Mm, Saturday, 8 to 2. Oh, really? I thought no. it was Saturday. Friday. No, sir. Saturday. Okay. Friday, I'll be at market with uh -huh. Dixie and Miss Grace. Okay. I'm, gonna cut, I'm just going to cut this in little strips. A lot of people said Saturday works for them, so maybe we'll make that okay. work. Okay. We'll play it by ear. Yeah. We'll be running. Running, try to get as much done as possible. Because we have to finish up Christmas, and then we also, people don't realize, but we actually buy all of our product at least six months to a year out. So our main goal is to finish up with a few gift-giving things for Christmas, and we're also looking at spring of next year. Mm, you know what my mom just informed me? What? What would I do without moms? My thing's from Absolutely. 8 to 2 Central Time, and I'll change time zones being in Atlanta. So it's really 1. Just like... 1 or later? No, it'd be later. It'd be later. It's earlier. So, so, it's, it's, so it'd be 9 to 3. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. Maybe we'll get done early. Well, maybe. And then you also have to... Um, because I've got to remember that phone call we have to do, not you, but I have to do that phone call. And I keep saying, it's not really a two, it's really a one. So we will figure it out. Yes, we will. I forgot about time zones. <laughs> yep. It's kind of depressing when you're driving around the, down the road and you're thinking you're making a really good time with you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And you're like, I've lost an hour. What happened to that hour? So Miss Vesta, gone. does the moss peel off easy yes it really does it really does we really thought it wasn't going to peel off easy earlier that's why we kind of wanted to give a little test run on it and it worked out perfect will it turn brown or how long do you think it'll last i'm sure it's just like any uh, we can't give you an exact on that because we haven't had we don't well we've had this moss i was for, gonna say we've had it for a while but we haven't had it out in the sun oh true or out true. in the open it's been down in the basement so, I hate to say it'll do something, then it doesn't. So, but I think it does fairly well. I mean, just like any other natural moss, right? And it's actually, it's it's been dyed, so it has it should hold fairly well. But it would be great for you know to have if you have just you know basic glass at your home or whatever, and you right. you know get some flowers and you could just put that and kind of dress it yep. up and make it look a little different. Mm hmm. The rate I'm going on my house, that may be my new wallpaper. That's right. <laughs> I'll come and help you install it. Ooh, I can guarantee you, it ain't going to be a moss wall. So. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? No. So what is that that you're putting in now? Fever few. Okay. I always just want to call them mini daisies, but fever few. Like I say, if you buy it, you can call it whatever you want That's to. right. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yep. So, we add just a few more pieces of that, and then we're going to start on the last one, which we're going to clean up the table. I love Miss Mary Ann said that it holds a long time. Okay, so a lot of people are saying that they would uh, definitely buy the sticky moss on the next Comet Sold. Okay. Well, we're going to be able to reorder it, hopefully, when we go see the great company of Pete Garcia in Atlanta. They, I'll put that on the list. We have a few places. to like family there. We have to go to. Yep. And what's that you're putting in? Yarrow. It's actually cottage yarrow. It's a little bit smaller, but it's also a lot cleaner. It doesn't have any foliage on it. And then color is a little bit more intense to me. Other yarrow tends to be a little bit flatter and more laterals off the stem, where this is a little bit smaller. Miss Nancy said that the boho wedding pictures were exquisite. Oh, y'all posted some of those already? Um, on Instagram, we've reshared them. 
And then uh, Wedding Wednesday was Oh, Pixar you did? Summit. Oh, good. Sorry, I hadn't watched it yet. Miss Ann Dunlap said Henry's swimming pictures were adorable. <laughs> did you get there in time to watch it? Um, yeah. Yeah, about that. <laughs> I didn't get quite great instruction, but I did, I did see the child, so let's just oh, put good. it that way. So is that flower that you called fever tanacetum? Mm, I'd have to say, I'd have Tanacetum? To yeah, a variety of it, yes. Okay. Uh, see, that's the worst part about the marigolds. Now, one thing about the marigolds, when they do pop off, I love to use them for pavate arrangements. But also, if you don't, they'll actually dry beautifully. Oh, really? They'll look, okay. They'll dry a little bit deeper color. You know, in marigolds, like in the Hindu religion or especially uh, in certain religions, they use marigolds to make laurels to put stuff on. So just tons of marigolds. So if you're ever in India and driving down the road, they'll have like these long garlands of, of marigolds to buy to take to their temples or... Miss Sue said she's growing doing. fever few in her garden. Oh, I love this one too. And I think I forgot to ask for the exact name of, of it, but it's so cute. Is, no, oh wait, that's not. What? That's not the zinnia. No, but it looks like a little zinnia. We need to have Frida Rice watching all the time, so... So that she can tell us what we yeah, need. Exactly. Miss Nancy said, over the top, you are so gifted in your talent and eye for design well, as a gift. Well, you're very kind. Miss Alex said she's learned so much. Well, we're just happy to share. Happy to share. So I'm going to pull that one little zinnia up a little bit. It's kind of peeking down there in the bottom. Everybody get, everybody get their minute of fame here. So so there's that one. Kind of cute. And last but not least. Okay, see. someone's saying, or a few people, Calendula. Calendula. On the small one, that's it. Um, Miss Barbara asked, is fever few a perennial? Perennial? Perennial. Yeah. I believe so. Hey, Haley, is fever few a perennial? Um, probably, but I'll look it up real quick. It's a seed, I believe. Let's see here. So this one, I'm going to have to reconstruct the, what we had done before. Are we out of... We did our test. Well, yeah. That's okay. Okay. I'm going to get kind of sticky a little bit. Just watch my time because I know we got an appointment to go to. It's 2.51. We're mm. good. Yes, um, it's an Asteraceae, uh, the family Asteraceae, and it is a perennial. So it that? is. It is. So why don't you cover the entire moss with, or the entire vase with moss? Um, you could. You could definitely do that. I just choose not to because I kind of want to see the glass. And we were just right. showing different and ways that just, you could You do could it. use it, exactly. Because like some people do like um, seeing the stems, seeing the stems. So this is kind of a way to dress up a vase, but still being able to see the stems. Yeah. And plus, I don't have that much patience from getting stuck to it. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> are these going in the cooler? They are. Miss Judy said that makes her wish that she lived closer. Look, he's like, I'm over it. This sticky has no. got me. <laughs> well, I don't have this one lined up. Here. No, it, oh gosh. Let me spin that around. I'm not going to drop it just yet. Just yet. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this would be super fun to have just to cover anything. Even make fun, you know what you could even do with it. What's super good about it is if, if you want to use it for placemats and like cut out designs, like yeah, I think that would be really cool. And not take the tape off, of course. That would be a good structure to work from. <laughs> Miss Sherry said, maybe cut the moss before taking the paper off. This well, is what we be... used to practice, so yeah. it was already. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so a few people have said, Miss Teresa just said, she really doesn't like the smell of marigolds, but if you remove the foliage, it kind of takes the smell it away. It does help some, for sure. 
And normally when I'm smelling it, it's because I'm taking the foliage off of it. So I'm getting that, you know, that, that pungent smell. But some people love the smell of marigolds. I just, I appreciate the smell and I love the memory, put it that way. So even Mr. Mike said, wouldn't it be easier to cut the moss before you take the sticky off? Sometimes you gotta the, work smarter, not We're not about harder, the easy here. That would take right. all the fun out of it. You just gotta go with the flow. So everyone's loving this color palette and it is so pretty. Oh, good. Look how many were on that stem. Oh my goodness, Don't break it was them. like a whole bush. I know. <laughs> Where were we the other day? Oh, we were somewhere out in public. And we were working on something and this lady walked in and she goes, I knew that was you. And I said, pardon me? And she said, I knew that was you from TV because you just you just beat those flowers up. You were just going nine and nothing. I'm like, <laughs> Where was that? <laughs> yes, ma'am, that's me. <laughs> remember where that was but i remember she that. wasn't I mean it mean or anything no she no was, she was playing a compliment but she was like i knew that was you far off i'm like oh my goodness oh my goodness so let's finish that one's broke and this one is here got one more couple more stems of those oh that one broke too you that need to make a pave too. arrangement now. Yeah, exactly. I think those are so pretty though when you do those. And plus, the great thing about these, these hold so well, especially on a pave, the pave design or a box design that we do a lot of. So, just so cute. Mm -hmm. Now I'm really thinking about where we were. Oh, it was set doing that arch at the country club for the wedding this oh, past weekend. Oh, that's what it was. You're exactly right. You're right. Can you keep zinnias in the cooler? Um, I don't because they don't seem to like the cold as well. Now, we've been talking to our growers, and I'd even question that about dahlias. And we were told the dahlias definitely can take it, but I still say, hmm. Whatever you say, I don't think they do as well as they left out, so that was not good. But the one thing about zinnias, they sure are pretty when they're open, but when they go, they go. And some of these in this bunch have gone, so I'm just going to do a little bit of edit, and a little bit of cleanup. Have you ever heard that mosquitoes hate marigolds? I've never heard that. Being from McCrory, Arkansas, the mosquito capital of the world, Mm, I, we had lots of marigolds around our house and we still had mosquitoes, so I don't know if that's true. <laughs> so you don't know about that one. <laughs> I mean, we literally have a, we literally have a, a, a mosquito fest in McCrory, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Festival. I think I'll pass, thank yeah. you. Do yeah. you leave the leaves on the zinnias? Uh, I don't leave any foliage under, under the water, except for that down there, which, oops, but, um, I think that's some to. of the granary got down there. Yeah, it slid down, sorry. Um, I try to take it off as much as possible because once again, it's like the hydrangea. The more the foliage is up, that's gonna drink up more than the flower head, more than the head. Hey, will you remind me um, when we get done, I wanna take a picture of that free spirit and send to Lindsay. Okay. So that she can kind of see, you know, where it doesn't, they don't have the red in them. See course, she likes on her wedding day, that might be all red. I know, I know. But I, I have told her that. <laughs> Lucky for you, Lindsay, they're came in red today. So. <laughs> Unlucky for Lindsay. <laughs> what can we do about it? So yeah. a lot of people are saying that they love orange, and they're saying this could be a go Vols arrangement. Hmm. A go who? Where's that red and blue? No, Vols is Tennessee. There's I know. So I'm saying where's the red and blue for Ole Miss? We're no voles around here. Come on. <laughs> My sister is. Miss Jeannie said, or Miss Jean said that you can put the marigolds in your vegetable garden and it keeps the bugs off. Exactly. That's true. Oh my goodness. That's what Miss Jeannie, Mr. Greg, and Miss Jean all just said. Yep. It definitely keeps the, it keeps them off the tomatoes. 
You know, in your lovely garden at your house, do you plant tomatoes? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's the only thing you don't plant, right? Mm, no, there's several things I don't plant. <laughs> like all of the above. <laughs> I'm not, I didn't get that gene very well. Uh, Miss Linda said that her daughter saw you out eating at a restaurant a couple weeks ago, and she said, did you get his autograph? And she said, no, Mom, I wouldn't do that to in interrupt his meal. Well, you can interrupt something. him. Come, come, come say something. So, yeah. You could even meet Miss Renee. Yeah. Or maybe even Henry and them if they're there. Well, exactly. Well, Henry would definitely work a crowd. <laughs> were they here earlier today? They were. I thought I heard Ollie. Yeah, you did hear Ollie. Everyone heard Ollie. Everyone heard Ollie. Yeah. It's all about chit chat today. Yeah. Now, the funny thing was they were watching The Happy on Monday. Mm -hmm. And Henry goes, oh, is that real right now? And she goes, I could have been there. I could have helped Papa. <laughs> Why didn't y'all tell me? <laughs> that is so funny. I'm like, oh, we got a monster. This is just beautiful, Mr. Chris. Everyone is saying it's so pretty and they oh, love good. it. Good. So we're almost done because we've got a we got an appointment we got to get to here in a second. So let me finish this up. Everyone's saying that the flowers are beautiful and the design is very pretty as well. well thank you. Well, it's very um, in right now. Just having all these bright, beautiful mixed colors. There's no rhyme or reason to placement. Would you consider this? What kind of design style would you consider this? Eclectic garden. Okay, so it's not really organic. No. You know, it's just, and it's not elegant. I just wasn't sure what the. It's just pretty flowers out of the yard. Miss Kim said number three is her favorite. Oh, good. But Miss Mary Lo Loney said all three are beautiful. Oh, good. Miss Debbie, she's on today. Hey, Miss Debbie. She said she loves, loves, loves. So I think that means she loves all three. Oh, good. Let me add a little bit. Getting lost in the weeds over here. Yeah, a little bit more yarrow. Oh, just a reminder, today's Wednesday, right? That's right. So Tips and Hearst, today we brought back buy one, get one free we all day long. We had to cease it for a few weeks, but for all of our local customers, you can stop in and get all these flowers. You buy one stem, you'll get one free all day long. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Just a little pop of white in there. Just like oh, that. so pretty. That purple or fuchsia color really adds to it. Yeah, it definitely gives it that extra tone to it. So that was the second one. This is the third one. And then the first one, I can't zoom. Oh, I can zoom in. I didn't know I could do that. You got that newfangled phone. You can do anything with that phone. I didn't know on the lies that you could, though. Oh, goodness. My problem would be the... Um, user capability more not is that right not, not the user error user error not the um not the phone itself oh my goodness miss virginia just said i hadn't thought about that what? today's date is 7 14 21. oh wow well if you're a numbers person that's at a very exciting day that is All right, guys, I think we're close. So we will see you either Friday, and if not, we'll see you Saturday. But we'll let you know what's going on. Yes, we'll post it. One way or the other. So pretty. A little bit of fluff up there. Some things have kind of slid down. We say a little bit of zhuzh to it. Got to zhuzh it. Let me clean this off for you real quick. Spin that one there, get that out of the way. Oh, just beautiful. Thank you. 
slide that one back over to here. To... So anyway, we will see you soon. Y'all have a good one. And uh, thanks for being part of the Happy Family. Bye.